Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare, and today I want to talk to you about alternatives to Flash Player. No doubt, many people will like to watch YouTube and have found out that we pretty much had to become slaves to Flash Player on our computers, especially if you're using Internet Explorer. But there are alternatives, and one of them is the browser that you choose to use. You can choose a browser that supports HTML5 and get around that Flash issue sometimes. And I'll show you an easy way to download that if you don't already have Chrome, Google Chrome, which is an HTML5 browser. You can go over here to a website called nineite.com and you can download Chrome. And I suggest you also add Firefox there. So just select the boxes, click Get Installer. Now I already have it in my computer here, so it's just going to kind of skip over it, but you'll see the process just the same. And I have this download down here, the Nineite. Chrome Firefox installer that it downloaded. So I'm going to click that to run it. Click run. If set the user account control prompt, click yes. And you can click show details if you want to watch the status of the download and the installation. All right, now Firefox is, is downloaded and Chrome has been skipped because it's up to date. And now if you were to go to, say, a YouTube video, you'll know that it's working because it'll play the video. Okay, enough of that. Now I did this in the Chrome browser, but the browser most people have the flash problems in is Internet Explorer. And I'll just show you a quick way that you might actually be able to repair that. It might be a little bit different than you might have tried yourself and I'll provide these links for you here but there's this flash uninstaller that you can download and here it is right here it's a pretty small program click that click yes and uninstall now if you run this from Internet Explorer and you're trying to repair flash in Internet Explorer it's going to require you to close Internet Explorer so you might need to do this in a different browser at the moment click done Okay, now that's going to take out both the ActiveX and the plugin versions of Flash for you automatically rather than going to the control panel and doing it separately. So it's a very quick and thorough way to do it. And the uninstaller is provided from Adobe who makes it. Now this other link I'll provide you as well. Now normally when you're going to get the Flash player, you're usually going to get a stub installer, which is a, a small file which is going to grab the rest of the files it needs from the internet to uh, finish the installation for you. I particularly like using full offline files. And they even give you two different choices, one of which you might not have ever seen, the MSI installer. Anyways, I like to get the Windows version for Internet Explorer and the Windows plugin-based Flash Player. So most of the time I'll just download the EXE one. But if you ever have something that's really stubborn and won't go in, you can try the MSI installer. So go ahead and click Download EXE. And you can watch it download here. If you want to see more details here while you're in Chrome, just watch it here. Now it's downloaded and you can click it here. Accept user account control. Agree to the terms, click install. Now I usually click the middle box here, notify me to install updates because if you let Adobe install them automatically you're going to find you're going to end up with some uh, additional toolbars sometimes that may not be good for your computer. Okay, that's the ActiveX version. Now let's go ahead and get the plugin version. It's the same process. It's downloading. You can go over here and watch it. Okay, it's downloaded, so I'm going to click it to run it. Accept user account control. Accept the terms. Click install. Same thing as the other. Again, I like it to notify me to install updates and click done. It's that simple, and the majority of the time, that is going to take care of your Flash problems in Internet Explorer, although there can be some deeper-rooted problems that uh, might require a technician to take care of for you. But for the time being, if you need to see those videos, the animated content that requires Flash Player, and you have an issue in Internet Explorer, go ahead and download Chrome, like I mentioned, using the Nine-Night download method. It's very easy to do. And you can also use this website to actually install updates to the programs.
So if you don't trust when you see the icon showing up down here that Flash or Java needs to be updated, well, things like uh, Chrome and Java, you can update them directly from this site. As for Flash, you'll probably have to update it directly from Adobe. And if you're not sure, you can always go to the control panel and open up your Flash player here. You can go to Advanced, and this tells you what version you have, and you can click Check Now. And just because of seeing this animated content, that shows you your Flash player is working right there. But right here it tells you. So right here it tells you which Flash version you have installed, and this here shows the latest version that's available. So we're up to date here. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you a little bit about alternatives to Flash Player by using an HTML5 browser like Google Chrome, as well as a little bit about how to repair some of your more simpler Flash problems with Internet Explorer. And what I didn't mention is Firefox, but uh, that plug-in version covers Flash for Firefox, so you have that as well. Anyways, I hope this helps you with uh, any Flash problems you're having. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare. Thank you, and bye-bye. And now for a bonus. Many software issues, such as what we just talked about, such as performance problems and some minor adware infections can actually be resolved with the tune-up. Now for those of you that would rather save yourself a headache and leave this work to a professional, you can book an online remote session with Computer Aftercare at computeraftercare.com. Now a remote tune-up with us costs $39 and it takes about 60 minutes and it consists of a selective startup, disabling unnecessary services, adjusting Windows visualizations for best performance, a thorough disk cleanup which includes cleaning windows and application temp files, cookies, and temporary internet files. It also includes removing unwanted programs and cleaning the registry for errors. And installing critical Windows updates, updating the internet browsers, your Flash Player, Java, Silverlight, and Adobe Reader, as well as initiating a hard drive defragmentation. Now, for more information and a list of other services offered by Computer Aftercare, again, you can visit our website at computeraftercare.com slant remote hyphen computer hyphen service. Now, if you wonder why we're able to offer these services at such a low price, it's definitely not for the lack of quality. It's just that this business model of doing remote computer repair has a very low overhead. And you don't have to lug your computer into a shop and connecting remotely is actually very quick. We just get on the phone after booking an appointment and I have you go to a website, you download a little software and uh, we exchange some codes and we're in your computer and you can watch everything that we do and you can make sure that we're disconnected when we're done. And it's very easy, very beneficial. But now for an even better deal, now, Computer Aftercare is actually a paid membership website that is primarily about teaching you how to maintain your own computer with a series of video tutorials, such as the video you just watched. Now, these videos, you don't have to be a technician. I'm not expecting you to become a PC technician here because they're actually aimed at the average computer user. You should be able to follow them exactly, and you can pause them and, and, and perfect these procedures. They're not hard. Now, for a limited time, I will be offering a free tune-up, such as what we just talked about, as a bonus for our new annual members, and a free virus and spyware removal for our lifetime members. The only difference between the two is that the annual membership is $47, and the lifetime membership is $97. And with those, you will get the bonus tune-up or the free virus and spyware removal. Now, either one of these services would be a great jump start to beating the odds of a premature computer failure, as well as making your computer faster, more reliable, and longer lasting. Think of this as me teaching you how to fish, and not just giving you a fish, although you also get a fish for signing up. So visit computeraftercare.com for more information, and we hope to hear from you soon and get your computer up and running the way you expect it. Thank you. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare. Bye-bye.